Now to the new details we're learning about the accused school shooter in Georgia. The 14-year-old boy is in custody after police say he carried out a mass shooting at his high school. Four people are dead, nine others are hurt. Tonight, three of the survivors have been released from the hospital. ABC's Rena Roy has our continuing coverage of this story, including the charges the boy is now facing. New details emerging about the 14 year old boy accused of going on a deadly shooting rampage at a Georgia high school Wednesday morning. Colt Gray had a brush with law enforcement in the past. ABC News obtaining an investigative report from May of last year when the FBI received anonymous tips about online threats to shoot up a school. The FBI traced the threatening posts on the social media site Discord to a then 13 year old. At the time of the threats, the local sheriff questioned Gray, who denied making the posts, and his father said that while he kept hunting guns in the house, his son did not have unsupervised access to them. The officer writing in the report that he could not substantiate the tip and found no reason to arrest him. Investigators are now going through social media accounts associated with Gray. Multiple sources familiar with the investigation telling ABC News he appears to have an affinity for mass shooters, posting about prior tragedies and those who carried them out. One student says on Wednesday, Gray left class and then tried to get back inside. I saw students go back to open the door for him and they backed away. I'm guessing they saw something, but for some reason they didn't open the door. Um, and I can just see him kind of turn to the side, like what would have been my right, and you just hear gunshots. And then everyone just kind of ducks to the floor. School resource officers finding him moments after the shooting with an AR-15 style rifle. Now the Georgia Bureau of Investigation saying Gray has been charged with four counts of felony murder. Police identifying the victims as 14 year old students Christian Angulo and Mason Shermerhorn, teachers Richard Aspinwall and Christina Irami. People coming to the school today with bouquets of flowers, one woman in tears saying she knew some of the victims. It's a tragedy that's rocked this community. I'm upset. I'm crying constantly. Just it's sad. It's sad with well, something that could have been prevented or tried to be prevented here in the state of Georgia. Still no word on a motive from authorities. Right now, it does not appear he specifically targeted the victims. Gray is expected to make his first court appearance virtually on Friday morning. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. Shalom. Giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. The house of David starting with 144,000, followed by the one-third remnant. All right, so here we go again. All right, yet another one. I'm talking about a mass shooting, you know, right right on cue. You know, here in America, Babylon, the great, you ain't going to go too long without a mass shooting. All right, and of course it's who? Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right. You know, but hey, it's all at the end of the day, it's all the judgment of Yahweh by Shem Shah. You know, this guy was, you know, of course, the spirit created for vengeance. I think that's Iraq 39 and 28. All right, you know, and that's the time that we're in, the time of judgment, man. That's why we gotta, we gotta be circumspect out here, standing in the spirit, you know, and of course, and this happened at school. But still, man, you know, you got to be circumspect wherever you go, man. If you ain't, if you ain't uh, doing nothing important, don't be out here bullshitting, man. All right, don't, just don't be out and about for no reason, man. You know, run your errands, handle your business, and do what you got to do and get the hell on back to the crib, man. All right, because the Lord got these spirits out here, man. All right. Now, of course, we walk by faith and not by sight. You know, but at the same time, you just got to... Apply wisdom uh, and, you know, use wise judgment, man. You know, like I said, if you ain't doing nothing that's uh, essential that, that you have to do, then, hey, man, don't be out here bullshitting around, man. There's too much going on, man. We're in the end. Too much judgment going on. Too much judgment going around, man. All right. But, yeah, man, this is all part of the judgment of Yahweh by Shema Shah. You know, and like we always say in these, uh, when these mass shooting, you know, Esau, of course, you know, going to use this to go after the Blickies. All right. You know, I think Georgia, all right, here in Georgia, it's a, uh, I think Georgia is an open carry state or whatever. But, you know, they're going to come after the uh, Blickies, man, the heat. All right. They're going to come after it, man. All right. Now, we don't trust in that uh, anyway. You know, as King David said, I will not trust in my bow. Neither shall the sword save me. Roughly paraphrasing. 
All right, but he's not going to come after these blinkers, man, because they want as little resistance as possible when they come with their new world order, man. All right, so you saw in the clip. All right, you know, he this guy had been posting, basically praising uh, mass shooters or whatever, man. You know, making threats to do one himself, and he and he carried it out, man. So Yaba Shemal Shah had had this spirit on him all along, man. You know, 14 years old, man. You know, but hey, that's the spirit of Esau Edom. They love blood, man. Scripture say they have not hated blood, pursuant to the book of Ezekiel, man. So these devils love seeing blood shed, man. You know, if they ain't killing nothing, shooting shit up, tearing shit up, cutting shit up, you know, they 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 basically can't live, man. Esau, Esau Edom got to see blood shed. Let's get that one. Uh, I think that's Proverbs, the fourth chapter. Proverbs 4. Yep, Proverbs 4 and 16. For they sleep not except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause something to fall. Yeah, and that ranges all the way from these mad shootings like you see here, man. Like you had at Appalachia High School and all these, you know, uh, previous mad shootings. And, the, you know, their unrighteous decrees, man. All these wicked acts that they... <coughs> All these wicked acts that they carry out, man. You know. These mass shootings, these these bombings, man. Like I said, Esau Edom, these devils, these Edomites, they, these so-called white men, they have to shed blood, man. Because they're violent. You know. They're 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 a violent uh, nation of people, man. They they love to see blood shed, man. Things being ripped up and torn apart and shit. You know. As, you know, like like I said, you saw in the clip where they said he had uh they had uh several uh hunting hunting guns or hunting rifles in their house, you know, and that that's it, that's that's what Esau Esau loves to do. He's a hunter, man. He's a he's a man of the field. Let's get that. You know, going all the way back to their uh forefather, their progenitor, Esau himself, man. You know. You know, they're, they're men on the field, man. Genesis 25 and 27. And the boys grew, talking about Jacob and Esau. This is going into Esau. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Yeah, and that's these Edomites, man. They, out, they got to be out shooting shit up. Now, there's nothing wrong with hunting. All right, but when you're hunting for sport, man, you just, you know, that's wicked as hell, man. You know, and that's what these uh, so-called white men do. They just hunt for sport, man. Kill deers and mount them up on the wall and shit. You know, lion's heads and all kind of shit, man. Wicked shit, man. You know, when Jake hunt, hunts, it's for sport, man. So like it, when Jake's hunt, when Jake hunts, you know, it's for food, man. You know, Jake, Jake going, uh, Jake will hunt to eat. You know, I don't do no hunting myself. You know, I like to fish. You know, I don't do no, I was never, you know, I I, I was never into hunting. You know, I, I like fishing myself, you know. But like I said, there's nothing wrong with hunting when you're hunting for food, you know. But Esau, these devils, they just hunt for sport. They, they love seeing these animals, you know, blood spewing out, you know, limbs being shot off or whatever, man. You know, that's what they like. So that's why this guy here, man, you know, that's their, that's in their nature, man. And Salakia, if the uh, the audio is the Salakia, Salakia, if the uh, the video is lagging behind the audio, I don't know why my video's been doing that lately. But I, I've been trying to fix it. I don't know. I can't find. You know, I don't know what the problem is. But you know, uh, you know, lately, uh, when I do my videos, the the video has been slightly lagging behind the audio. I don't know what it, what's that what's that about, but you know I'll try to fix it. You know when I find out what it is. But so so like you for that. Forgive me for that. But you know nevertheless, you know that's in these devils' nature, man. You know their blessing is a sword. They love guns and knives and all these weapon all this weaponry for sport, man. All right, and you got a lot of jakes that that that's taking on that spirit. They became like these devils, man. And I say there's nothing wrong with hunting for, for food, you know. 
having a blicker to defend yourself or what, not having one in your home. But, you know, that's what these devils have it for, man. You know? But, hey, that's why we got to be circumspect when we're out. Like I said, now this happened at school, but still, man, you know, this is a precaution that, you know, we got to be circumspect. You know, Ephesians 5 and 15, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And that we're in evil days, man. We're in the time of judgment, like I said. So, right? 39 and 28, the Lord got these spirits created for vengeance out here, man. All right, to bring about death and destruction. So we got to be circumspect, man. You know? Hey, just chill at the crib. I just read the scripture. Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. And that's what we got to be in this time, man. Hey, like I said, if we ain't at work or out, you know, getting groceries, getting food or doing stuff that we absolutely have to do, hey, just chill at the crib, man. All right, let's get that, uh, Sirach. What's that, Sirach, the 32nd chapter. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach, chapter 32. Bear with me for a second. I think it's a be not hasty to make not delay. Oh, yep, yep, right here. Sirach, chapter 32, verse 11. Rise up, be times, and be not the last, but get thee home without delay. Yeah, man, especially in these times, man. You know, I know the apostles been going into it in their uh, street sermons lately. You know, when they say, you know, they say when they go out, you know, even when they're grocery shopping, they, they already have in mind what they're going to get. They get that three or four items, they in and out, man, like clockwork, man, and they back at the crib. And this is why, man, you know, all kind of uh, judgments are going on, all kind of spirits out here, man. So rise up, be times, meaning early, be not the last, but get thee home without delay. Yeah, go on, do what you got to do and get your ass to, in the crib, man. All right. <laughs> And that's what that's that's us by that's the Israelites by nature anyway. We like being at the at the house chilling, you know. Might get a few bills or, you know, some 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 yum yum, you know, some wine or liquor or whatever, and just chill at the crib, man. You know, but hey, these spirits out here, man. You know, and that's the that's the part of you know being amongst the nations. They're, you know, that's how these nations are, man. You know, Esau, he's a cunning hunter, a man of the field. Ishmael is a wild man. All right, so we got to be circumspect, man. You know, again, rise up, be times, be not the last, but get thee home without delay. So you got to watch how you move out here, man. You know, a lot of judgment going on, man. The Lord is bringing about death. What scripture did I want to get? Oh, yeah, Matthew 24. There's no love out here, man. So that's why we're seeing a lot of shootings and, you know, a lot of, a lot of harsh activity out here, man. Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, you know. So, yeah, man. You know, everything, these people are cold out here, man. These people, you know, these little youngins, you know, they're, they're monsters, man. Like I said, this guy was 14. You know, he's an Edomite, but you got these wild-ass little Jake GMO babies out here too, man. You know, monstrous uh, children, man. Scriptures say, menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. All right, so you got that out here, man. And you about can't even you about can't even speak to these little youngins no more, man. These teenagers and these people in their early twenties or whatever, man. What they Gen Z or Gen whatever, whichever generation they call, they ain't got no love, man. No kind of manners, no respect, no discipline. So that's why I say it's just best to be at the crib, man. All right, but it's all the judgment of Yahweh by Shem All right, so you got to be circumspect, man. You know. It always seems like it's around this time time of year where these mass shootings start start happening, man. You know, going into the fall, winter, so called New Year in the early months. You know, January. All right. Now, of course, you have you've had mass shootings all year round, 
But you, they're more so this time of year. They're more frequent this time of year, man. All right. So, yeah, man, you know, be careful, man. You know, this damn Edomite done went and shot up the school. But he killed four people, injured nine. All right, so so we got to be careful out here, man. You know, we're in the time of judgment. So we got to watch how we move. Stay in the spirit. Be circumspect, man. You know, it's, it's cold out here, man. You know, a lot of, a lot of hatred out here. A lot of, a lot of hate, a lot of hateful spirits out here, man. You know, people, these people have, they have no conscience, man. No, no feelings, no manners, no respect whatsoever, man. You know, hey, this is in these devil's nature. That's why King David said, present, preserve me or protect me from the violent, man. Roughly paraphrasing. That's what these devils are by nature. They're violent, man. They love seeing blood. All right. Because you know Jake ain't, you know, Jake. Like me and me and a brother from the camp was talking early, man. Jake ain't doing no mass shootings like that, man. You know, and when Jake got a bone pick with somebody, Jake go get the person they want or whatever, man. Jake ain't shooting up no schools and stores and movie theaters and shit like that, man. You know, that's that's what these devils do, man. So called white people. All right. So yeah, I just want to go into that, man. You know, just be circumspect out here, stay in the spirit. You know. Move carefully out here, man. Do what you got to do and, and get on to the house, man. You know, just chill in the crib, man. If you ain't con getting up with brothers, you know, congregating, fellowshipping with brothers, man, you know, the best thing to do is just chill at the crib. Take it easy, man, because you got stuff like this going on, man. All right? The love of many has grown cold out here, man. There's no love out here, man. So, you know, just be careful. We got to be careful, remain in the spirit, and be circumspect, man. Judgment is going out. Hopefully, this was edifying to the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Shalom, peace and blessing to the hopeful elect. The house of David, starting with the 144,000, followed by the one third remnant. Ababa Ba, Shalom.